just got done fishing the Toyota Series on Lake Seminole and got a top five finish, actually finished fifth. The cool part about this tournament was my dad finished second place. Tell you what, that was a great tournament. I had a great time. And the most important and best thing that, that I came out of that tournament was I had an opportunity to fish it with you and both of us make top 10. We had a blast. I want to tell you guys real quick on kind of what I caught them on and how I figured out, you know, what I was going to throw in the tournament. So if you haven't been to Lake Seminole, it's got a lot of hydrilla in it. Um, I was fishing in uh, Spring Creek and the water got really muddied. When I, when, I, when I started searching for fish there, I had a the Berkeley War Pig right here in the half ounce and I was chunking that thing around on grass flats until I found them. The, the one thing you got to remember about some of these lakes and and down south if these fish can get on one cast so I would hit that I'd catch a fish as soon as I had power pull down and I'd fire this this uh, Berkeley wind-up worm in there if I could get multiple bites on a spot I, I knew it was a good one and uh, so that's that's really what I use I know I didn't show you guys the fish on camera but it was a stud probably I'm gonna say at least at least six pounds they were only like seven, but I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to exploit the fish too much because I got people around me. So, but we're doing good right now. We got to solve them. This wind-up worm, the reason I was throwing black and blue is because the water was muddy and it's got a little paddle tail with a lot of kick. So I uh, just had it on a quarter ounce head. I was fishing pretty shallow grass, six to seven foot deep. Uh, re really simple, but that's the way I approached it. Um, also knew going into the tournament that I was going to need to find some kind of shad spawn. So uh, my ended up being my best place was a patch of grass that had shad. They were they were swirling around on top. They were flicking. Um, never saw any, I saw a few fish blowing up, but I found I actually found that spot on the war pig. And um, so then I started there first thing uh, day one, and I had 24 pounds off of it almost, and I caught it on a chatter bait. Chatter bait. This is a Z Man 3 8 ounce chatter bait. The grass was about six five six foot deep and that's the Berkeley the deal chatterbait trailer it's it's a um, man it's just got these little twin tails on it it's it's a it's just a really good bait for a chatterbait it's got a ton of action to it I was finding those fish um, on, on that war pig and throwing this thing in there and the first day I just lit them up. It was crazy. That's it, finished fifth. Like I said, dad finished second. He was dragging a worm behind the boat the whole time uh, with his pros. We, we just had a great time. To me, that's a, a moment I'll never forget and I'll always cherish. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. Um, I really wish you would have caught some more fish though, the last day. <laughs> he helped me in practice a lot finding the fish that I needed too for the top 10 so it's, it's pretty cool when you can work together and travel together and um, and it is fun. So. Yeah, we caught a lot of fish together. Yeah caught a lot of fish throwing a worm dragging a worm and throwing a moving bait you know chatter bait and stuff like that so. And not to mention what a great lake that was I yeah. mean honestly the size of fish there and the quantity of fish there it's just incredible. It, it really place. is. Lake Seminole yeah. is the place to go to and catch big fish for sure. We, we just had a great time. It was just a tournament I'll never forget. So appreciate you guys watching.